Hey, hello everyone, it's me again, Mamaria, and welcome to my channel. So, for this video, we're going to discuss all about solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots and by using square root property. Okay, this is for grade 9 students. So, moving on to the discussion itself um, solving quadratic equations by extracting square root. So, we have x squared is equal to k, where k is constant. Okay, then we're going to square it out like this, then cancel, ayan, then x is equal to positive and negative square root of k, okay? For example, number 1, we have a squared minus 64 is equal to 0. In regard with this, gagawin natin siyang ganito yung format, x squared is equal to k, wherein ililipat natin si negative 64, Sa kabila, so it will be positive 64. Since negative siya doon, nag-transpose tayo, kaya naging positive si 64. So what are we going to do is to put a square root, okay? Square root of a squared is equal to square root of 64. Then we're going to cancel out um, square root and squared. So a is equal to square root of 64. If we're going to compute it, the answer will be positive and negative 8. Okay, so in regards with that, we have two solutions in here. We have A is equal to positive 8 and A is equal to negative 8. So, ang ginawa natin is separate natin si positive and negative. Ayan. And then, we um, come up with the solutions of A is equal to 8 and A is equal to negative 8. Take a look at example number 2. We have 2b squared minus 32 is equal to 0. So, what are we going to do is that kailangan natin ilipat muna first. Okay. Okay, lilipat natin siya sa kabila. So, copy lang natin si 2b squared is equal to since si 32 ay negative, when we transpose it to the other side, it will become positive 32. And right after that, since meron pa tayong numerical coefficient. So, hindi pa natin siya malalagyan ng square root. Since ang tatanggalin natin is si 2, so, i-divide natin siya both sides kay 2. Since siya yung i-eliminate natin. Okay. So, cancel 2. B squared is equal to 32 divided by 2 is equal to 16. The next step is to put a square root. So, we have square root of b squared is equal to square root of 16. Um, cancel out. Then, the answer is b is equal to positive and negative 4. Okay, so take a look at example number 3. We have 3x squared minus 27 is equal to 0. So, the first step ay ilipat natin si constant sa kabila. We have 3x squared is equal to since si 27 ay negative, magiging positive siya. Okay? Then, after that, eliminate. We have to divide both sides by 3. Tama? Kasi si 3 yung i-eliminate natin. So, 3. Okay, then, cancel 3. So, natira na lang si x squared is equal to 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. Okay? So, after that, we're going to extract square root. Alright? So, cancel square root. Natira na lang si x is equal to square root of 9 is 3. So, positive and negative 3. So, ang ating solution ay x is equal to positive 3 and x is equal to negative 3. Three. Okay, so moving on to example number 4, we have 2x squared minus 14 is equal to 18. So, same process, ilipat natin si negative 14. So, we have 2x squared is equal to, since meron ditong 18, ikakapi lang natin siya. Then, ilipat natin si negative 14, magiging positive si 14 since um, nandun na siya sa kabila ni equal. So, Plus 14 tayo dyan. Okay, so after that, i-copy lang natin si 2x squared. Then, 18 plus 14 is equal to 32. So right after that, same process with example number 1, 2, and 3. Eliminate. So, we have to divide it both side by 2. So, x squared is equal to 32 divided by 2 is equal to 
16. Then after that is we're going to extract square root in it. Alright. So si x na lang yung natira. Then we have positive and negative 4. And the solutions are x is equal to positive 4 and x is equal to negative 4. Okay, so take a look at this. So by now, we're going to solve quadratic equations by square root property. Yung kanina is hinanap natin yung roots of its variable in each quadratic equation. Okay? So dito, gagawin natin is, isasolve natin si quadratic equations by square root property. Same process, okay? Pero may konti lang namang pagkakaiba sa given. Same pa rin siya sa solving quadratic equation by extracting Square look at example number 1. We have x minus 2 squared is equal to 4. So, we're just going to extract square root in it like this. x minus 2 squared is equal to 4. Uh, maglagay lang tayo ng square root. Then, cancel. So, x minus 2 is equal to positive and negative. Square root of 4 is equal to 2. Okay? So, by that, we're going to find the solutions. Pag hiwalayin lang natin itong dalawa to, positive and negative 2. So, first, okay. So, the first solution is x minus 2 is equal to positive 2 and x minus 2 is equal to negative 2. Then, sineparate natin si positive and negative 2. So, we have positive 2 and negative 2. Then, after that, we're just going to simplify. Since si 2 ay negative, when we transpose it, it will become positive 2. Okay, so x is equal to 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Okay, so the first solution is x is equal to 4. Next, we have x is equal to negative 2. Copy lang natin siya. And then, we're going to transpose negative 2. It will become positive 2. So, we have x is equal to negative 2 plus 2, the rule of integers. Okay, so meron dyan sa channel ko. Um, hanapin nyo lang yung tutorial ko about rule of integers. So, we have x is equal to 0. So, our solutions are x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 0. Okay, so take a look at example number 2. We have 2 times x plus 3. Squared is equal to 18. Same process, kailangan din nating eliminate si 2 by dividing both sides by 2. Alright? So, you cancel. Then, x plus 3 squared. So, 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. Then, after that, we're just going to put square root. Okay? Then, cancel. So, natira na lang is x plus 3 is equal to positive and negative. Square root of 9 is 3. Then after that, we're just going to separate it. Enable for us to get the solutions. So we have x plus 3 is equal to positive 3. Then we have x plus 3 is equal to negative 3. Okay, so right after that, you're just going to simplify. x is equal to 3. Again, ililipat natin sa kabila. So we have negative 3 since si 3 ay positive dito. Kapag inilipat natin siya sa kabila, then magiging negative siya or magpapalit tayo ng sign always. So, we have x is equal to 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So, our first solution is x is equal to 0 and x is equal to negative 3. Ito yan. And then, ne si positive 3, ililipat natin sa kabila, it will become negative 3 also. So, we have negative 3 minus 3 is equal to negative 6. So, our solutions um, for this quadratic equation is x is equal to 0 and x is equal to negative 6. Okay, so take a look at example number 3. We have 3 times x minus 1 squared is equal to 75. Um, the first step is to eliminate si 3. So, we have to divide it both sides by 3. Then cancel. So, natira na lang x, x minus 1 squared. x minus 1 squared is equal to 75 divided by 3 is equal to 25. Okay, so right after that is to put square root. 
we have square root of x minus 1 squared is equal to square root of 25. So, cancel square root. We have x minus 1 is equal to square root of 25 is positive and negative 5. Alright. So, after that, we're going to find the two solutions. So, we have x minus 1 is equal to 5 and x minus 1 is equal to negative 5. Sineparate natin silang dalawa. Okay? So, x is equal to copy 5. Then then, transpose negative 1, it will become positive 1, so plus 1. Then, x is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6, so the answer is x is equal to 6. Then, next is x is equal to negative 5, copy. Then, we're going to transpose negative 1, so it will become positive 1. Always remember na kapag maglilipat tayo ng uh, number sa kabilan equal sign, magpapalit tayo palagi ng sign, okay? Kung positive to, magiging negative siya dito. Okay? Pero, since negative siya, so, sa kabila, naging positive siya. So, we have x is equal to negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. So, the solutions in this quadratic equation, x is equal to 6 and x is equal to negative 4. Okay, so, take a look at example number 4. We have 4 times 2x plus 3 squared is equal to 64. Um, same process, we have to eliminate 4. So, divide both sides by 4. Alright? So, cancel 4. So, we have 2x plus 3 squared is equal to 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16. So, we have... So, next is to extract square root. Okay? Cancel. Then, natira na lang is 2x plus 3 is equal to positive and negative square root of 16 is 4. Next step is to find the solutions. So, we have 2x plus 3 is equal to 4 and 2x plus 3 is equal to negative 4. After that, we are just going to simplify this. So, 2x is equal to 4 transpose positive 3. It will become negative 3. Alright? So, we have 2x is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1. Since x lang naman yung hanapin natin, then we're going to eliminate yung constant na kasama ni x, which is 2. So, divide both sides by 2. So, we have x is equal to 1 half. So, the first solution is x is equal to 1 half. The second one is 2x plus 3. So, we have 2x is equal to negative 4. Transpose positive 3, it will become negative 3. So, we have 2x is equal to Negative 4 minus 3 is equal to negative 7. Eliminate natin si 2. Divide both sides by 2. Remember, kapag mag-eliminate kayo, lagi nyo lang um, i-divide both sides. Ano, hindi ito lang. So, we have x is equal to negative 7 over 2 or negative 3 and 1 half. So, x is equal to negative 7 over 2 or negative 3 and 1 half.